Hey guys, welcome back to Mark of All Trades. I appreciate you guys tuning into the channel. So today we're going to be talking about the Hawk Helium Sticks. So I've had this for about a year now, and today we're going to be going over, is it worth the price? Is it something that you should invest in? Let's take a look at it. So I've had these climbing sticks for a little while now, and I've been using these mainly on public land. And so these are public land legal. Um, these have been so cool. Um, just the fact of how it changed my hunts from last year to this year, it lightened my loads for how much I'm taking out into um, the properties. I'm able to carry it in my backpack. It's super light, and it's virtually quiet. The only metal on metal is the buckle and honestly you could do like a rope mod for that to quiet it down um, when I'm using these it, it's just so cool so one of the main things that I like about this is the fact that it has the suction the suction cups in here and these have been have been awesome you don't need to fumble around with the strap to get them all to carry together they all suction together and they hold really nicely and it's only making noise because I don't have the buckles down that tight. But when you're walking through the woods, you know, I'm twisting this upside down and it's not going anywhere. So that's been super nice is just being able to stack these on top of each other. Um, in the sets, they usually come with three. So I'm not sure how many you can securely stack together without them coming apart. But so far, these three have been able to get me up to roughly about 15 to 17 feet off the ground. And if I use an aider with these climbing sticks, I can probably touch 20 feet. So one of the other things I wanted to touch on was the fact that Hawk came out with these Versa buttons. So these are similar to what Lone Wolf has for their Versa buttons, but this has also been so cool. So when you're climbing up the tree, it makes it a lot easier for you to just get in there a lot faster. You can just hook in with the actual um, hoops that are on the straps. So each side has an actual hoop and then they quietly go on there and then you can just use the buckle to just cinch it down. So I mean it's just that quiet. Just as quiet as I did that, that's how quiet you can be in the tree. So it, it's super cool. One thing that I did have a problem with is I had to search the internet pretty good to find available stores that had these. I think the name of the store that I got this from is called Shields. I might be pr pronouncing it wrong, so you can correct me if that's your local store. But I got a good price on these. Um, I'll post the link down below so you guys can take a look at that too if you're in the same boat. Um, I went over to Bass Pro Shop. They had it on their website, but when you go to the store, they had no clue what I was talking about. They were out of stock. So if you take a look at this on the back, the actual parts that go to the tree they're a pretty aggressive tread. So when you get these in the box, you'll actually have to assemble these. It comes with a wrench so you can put everything together, but I'd rather just use my socket set. So as you can see that there's three sets of steps on these and they all fold in relatively easily. So when you extend these out, you're gonna see that they're pretty aggressive tread on here. So when you actually go to climb the tree, you wanna, you might wanna watch your hands if you know they're not that calloused. <laughs> you might end up hurting yourself. Um, but it's actually nice because during those rainy or muddy or snowy days, it's nice to actually have some traction onto your climbing sticks. And for me, it's definitely, it's definitely paid off. I've seen some guys on YouTube and you know on the on the forums online. They'll take these sticks and they'll actually cut one of these sections off to where it's just the Versa button left. And so you'll just essentially have two steps. And I'm sure that that, you know, gets you guys out there with a lot less weight. But for me personally, I don't mind carrying it. It's a lot lighter than carrying a climber out there or doing like a hang and hunt with these sticks and an actual tree stand. Just just carrying these three sticks out is nothing. It's, it's pretty great. I've already given you all the pros of how great these sticks are. I guess we'll go to the cons, and there really aren't that many of them. 
One is the buckle. So the buckle is a little loud. Whenever you're traveling through the woods, if you don't have it cinched down tight against the actual climbing stick, you're gonna, you're gonna hear it. It's gonna make a ton of noise. So you need to make sure that you secure that before you go into the woods. You could, you know, quiet this down with putting some, you know, stealth strips tapes on here. And I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Another thing that is just a personal preference thing of mine is whenever you're putting these out, they make a little bit of noise coming down. So if you're in a hurry, you just need to take the time to just, you know, slowly bring it down. And then when you're getting out of the woods and you're putting them together, don't, don't slam them. So that's, that's super minor. It's really not that big of a deal. One thing that I kind of noticed is that the Versa button is up top. So whenever I'm climbing the tree, I've made a mistake a couple times. I'll, I'll kind of be out from it a little bit like this instead of keeping my body into it and, you know, vertical with the tree. So I have had the bottom kick out a little bit, but with the Versa button, it's never come off the tree. So that's, that's one good thing. But just be mindful that if you're not close to the tree whenever you're climbing it, the bottom could kick out. I'll show you guys how I pack these up once I'm done in the tree. I'll put the strap with the attachment right there close to the Versa button. I'll wrap it around the back and right where the brackets are, I'll wrap it back around. So you can see I wrapped it up top. I'll put this right around the Versa button right here. I'll take out the slack and then I'll pull down on the actual latch. So you just gotta take your time pulling out the slack. You want it as tight as possible because you don't want it, you don't want this making any noise against the actual metal. So that's on there and it makes hardly any noise. I mean, there's gonna be a little bit, but I'll show you what I do to prevent that noise. So before I do that, I just wanna show you guys on the bottom here, there's two points that go into the suction cups and that just fits in there like so. And then you snap down, you can hear it pop. And then now all three of them are together. So here I have my backpack that I take out on every hunt. I just, it's easier to just put everything together and just throw it on my back. So this is how I load it to go into the woods. So obviously here's the front of the backpack. One thing I noticed is you want these brackets to be away from you because when you're walking into the woods, you don't want it walking into your back or you know making it really uncomfortable. So if you have it facing away, it's, it's not gonna be an issue. So on my backpack, it has these side buckles and I take those and I'll put these around like so. So it's, it's on there like that. You can have this however you want. For me personally, I like having the bottom level with the bottom of the backpack. So then if I were to step out a little bit, all of this up top wouldn't be down below. So that's just how I do it. Obviously it's personal preference. So I'll put it on here real quick and you can, you can kind of get an idea of how it looks. So here it is. My hands are free. I can carry my bow, my crossbow, gun, whatever I'm taking out and I don't have to carry my sticks out. And you can see that, you know, the sticks are almost level with my head. So if I'm ducking down for a branch, for the most part, it's out of the way. But I just wanted to do a quick comparison for those of you who are familiar with the lone wolf sticks. So here's three sets of lone wolf sticks, and then here's the three sets of the hawk helium. So you can kind of see them compared, how they stack. Like I said, one good component of the Hawk Helium sticks is that you don't need a strap to keep them together like you do these lone wolves. So you can see right here that this is the strap. I mean, these aren't going anywhere. They're locked in place pretty good. And, you know, obviously you can see I'm using a rope mod on here as well. So it's going to make it a little bit lighter. 
Um, the sticks for the Lone Wolf are a little bit thinner than the ones for the Hawk Helium. But I would say that these are equally just as light. So with the conclusion of the Hawk Helium sticks, honestly, I'm a big fan for it. I feel like these are a game changer whenever it came to changing up my hunting style and adding a new arsenal to my hunting equipment. These are invaluable. I would not go into the woods without them. They're, they're phenomenal. If you're on the fence or uh, thinking about getting these, I would definitely pull the trigger on it. I don't think you're going to regret it, and I think this could definitely help you out when you're hunting. If you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe, give the video a like. If you guys have any comments or suggestions on these sticks, I'll be happy to let you know on the bottom. Until then, I'll catch you guys in the next video.